It's hard to see it through the pain when you try to So here we are at the Shank premiere. It's getting a bit noisy out here. We've got Leo. Leo, how you doing? I'm very good. How are you? I'm not too bad at all, thank you. Uh, you're the first person actually to comment on my outfit. I think everyone else just thinks I'm dressed normally. No, because you have a fantastic outfit. It's very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, so you're down here for the premiere of Shank. Who are you looking forward to seeing in the film? Um, well, they said Bashi's in there, in the film. Um, I think that's the only person I know that's in the film, actually, to be honest. Okay, cool. I've been, I've been in hibernation for like a few years. You've just so been sleeping the whole time? I've been sleeping, so I don't really know what's going on. I woke up and someone said, do you want to come to the cinema? I said, cool, what are you watching? He said, Shank. I said, okay. Yeah, so he said that. So, um, so I came here. I knew that Bashi was in it, so I said, okay, cool. It's a story about rival gangs oh, and, really? uh, and the decisions that, that kids have to make about whether they should go after the gang or not and whether they pull their friends in, etc, etc. Well, you see, I'm not a fan of uh, violence, knife violence, gun violence at all. So, I mean, ask me this question when I come back. I will I'll do, sir. To give a, a more, what should I say, Jonathan, Jonathan Ross based. How you doing, sir? I'm very well, very well. Yourself? Very well. You come down to watch the big film, Shank. Looking forward to it? I am very much so. Um, it's going to be the hit film. Uh, I think it's going to do well. And, um, you know, hopefully. Are you a big fan of films of the urban genre? Uh, to be honest with you, I think it's the way forward now. I think we've got to start looking into the future. Uh, I myself liken it to Clockwork Orange, a film, a very old classic Stanley Kubrick film. And that's what I see this, I see this going along the same route. So what's your favourite urban film? My favourite? Oh, oh. Put you on the spot here. You put me on the spot. Oh, I don't know. We've got a lot of Love and Basketball and Friday. Uh -huh. No British films? We've had Shank, actually. Oh, and others? we've had Adulthood. And Adulthood. Oh. What do you call urban? What do you call urban? I think anything that's from the streets, that's been made like this, that Shank has, that's been made in the ghetto. Do you, do you agree? What about Rolling with the Lines? Rolling with the Lions? Rolling with the Nines. Oh, the Nines. That's a, yeah, definitely. That's an urban film. Is that your favourite? There you go. There you go. You said Rolling with the Lions. I'm just picking all the ones that I'm in. <laughs> Are you your favourite actor as well? No, I'm not my favourite actor. My favourite actor is in this film. Which is? That, the Big Bad Bashy. <laughs> just talking about him and he turns up. How's that for timing? He was just saying that you're his favourite actor. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. See? He's the boss, though. Do you go way back? He's the He goes... I don't even need to, I don't even need to. <laughs> so we're here for Officially Urban and uh, we are down at the Ritzy in Brixton. And with me I've got... Um, I, Elliot Sittenstar to play Carl Gallagher in Shameless. For some reason I wanted to plug my name that way. <laughs> I'm Kasim Matta, I play Chesney Karib in Shameless. Okay guys, so what are you doing down here tonight? Um, I'm just here supporting my girlfriend. My girlfriend's in the film. She's got um, Kaya, isn't it? And um, she's coming down supporting her really. Uh, we rushed down, Kazim dri drove down, we rushed the way down, we only just made it, so... Did you drive safely? We, had, we, we literally had a Asking. race against time. It was nice, man, it was nice. nice. So your girlfriend's in the film, so you must be quite excited about it. I'm excited, man. I'm sort of, I mean, obviously I'm supportive of Kyo, and we've come down to... I'm come to watch it. film's not really for him, though. I'm, it's more me, it's more me. <coughs> it's Kazim's sort of film, but I'm, I'm going to enjoy watching it. I've not really watched um, something like this before, so it'll be nice watching something new. And then she told you what the story's about and all of that kind of stuff? I've got the gist of the story, yeah. She told me because I was, um, she, she was telling me about when she was filming it and saying what it was like and stuff, but I'm not too, I'll see, man. I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'll watch it, man. So as two Northern guys, you think you'll be picking up some London slang tonight and taking it back with you? I, I know all of that. <laughs> Let's hear it. I'm from London anyway. It's, it's all right. I, I, I live around the corner. It's fine. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I get into the impressions all the time. It's funny, man. It's funny. He, he's, come down, he's come down with me, in it. So you guys, both of you in Shameless, how's that going? Oh yeah, it's amazing, it's on at the moment. We've got a, few, we've got a great episode coming on next Tuesday, so everyone lock on to it, watch yeah, it. Good, good. So you two, on screen, you've got great chemistry and it looks like you're exactly the same off screen. Yeah, Kazim, Kazim comes to my house a lot, he's a bit of a leech, but you know what I mean? He's not like... <laughs> Is that true? No, he's like... <laughs> I love him, he's like my brother, he's like my brother. Yeah. one of the best mates as well. We're here with Bashi setting on to go and watch the film, how are you doing sir? You good? I'm good, you alright, yeah. yeah. Just walking through the red carpet, you've got a lot of screens there. Yeah, a lot still. You've got a lot of love? Yeah, I think that's good, right? I, I work hard man and, and the girls love it. Tell us about the role you play in the film. Yeah, I play um, a character called Rager, um, he's like the leader of the Paper Chasers and it's just about controlling my crew and making sure that they're not getting up to anything that's too bad and, and really schooling my younger brother, Junior, in the film. You're a goodie or a baddie? I'm a goodie. Yeah, I'm a goodie anyway. <laughs> okay. 
Are you? I, I, had, I heard otherwise. Yeah. Right, tell us, uh, tell us, are you a big fan of films of the urban genre? I'm a big fan of films in general. Yeah. What's your favourite film of all time? Braveheart. Is Shank going to be up there? Um, yeah, Shank's big still, but Braveheart's still my favourite. Now, Bashi, I've seen the trailer of the film, okay, and in it, it looks like something really bad happens to you. I know, it's deep. It's all right, though. So, it is all right because I wore this outfit, especially tonight, so that if you need rescuing, I could help you. Who are you? Wonder Woman? No. no. I'm just myself, oh, but I'm kind a of a superhero, but in 2015. It looks good, it looks good, it looks good. Thank you. I've got flower power. Okay, so if you do need rescue at any point during this evening, let me know. All right, cool. I'm, I'm definitely going to let you know. Managed to get hold of Javina. She's about to go in and watch the film. How are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? Very well. Looking absolutely beautiful tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, you've got a little one, but you're still looking fabulous. So what's your secret? Oh, gosh. What is my secret? I don't do anything. I eat what I want. She kicks me on my toes, work out. Just be happy inside, and you show your happiness on the outside. You like to hear. <laughs> Sounds horrible. Are you a big fan of urban films like this? These are great. You know, I think it's a great opportunity, especially for music artists as well, to come out and show that they can kind of switch over. Where well, I think in this country, people don't like people to do that. They like them to stay to their music. And in America, you can switch over. People get nominated for awards, etc. I think it's a nice, exciting time right now in the urban scene. Did we ever see you moving into movie? Yeah, definitely. Like I do act. Like I went to stage school. I've been in musicals. I'm an all-rounder. You know, I just haven't really been given the chance to, but definitely. Yeah, something we can see in the future. You might be in a film like. Shang you never know. Yeah. I've heard it here first. Can I ask, what's your favourite urban film of all time? My favourite urban film of all time. A smile, I think. Sorry, yeah, I think that's probably the best one. It was just done so well. I think a lot of them were done and kind of jumped on it, but that was an actually a good film with a good script and a good story. Do you think Shank could be up there? We'll never know. Let's see tonight. So here we are outside the Ritzy. It is, of course, the premiere of Shank, and we're here with Michael. Michael, how are you doing? Really well, thank you. Steady. Steady. Show us what's in your hand. It's a beer. It's a beer? Uh, so, of course, tell us about the character you play in the movie. I play Craze, who's like, um, who's crazy, really. He's like the northern, um, northern joke, really. It's so that all you can southerners can have a laugh at a northerner, really, I think. So, are you excited about getting in there and seeing the film this evening? Can't wait. I've seen it before already, a little private screening, but I really can't wait to see it again. It's going to be different on the big screen, surely? I reckon it is, yeah. I'm a bit nervous, actually. Really? A little bit. I always get a bit nervous when I watch myself. you got sweaty palms? No, I think the beer's helped though, actually. The beer's helping with the sweaty palms. Okay, so obviously the title of the film, Shanks, caused a little bit of controversy. Tell us about it and why you think it's a good thing. It's not all about, like, um, I don't know, it's not promoting knife crime or it's not prom promoting violence, right? Like that. It's, um, it's sort of saying, come on, you can live a different life, you can... You don't have to go that route, you know what I mean? It's, it's a good film. I don't know how to say I'm trying to sound clever and I always... So it's got a positive message? Yeah, definitely. So we're back outside the Ritzy. As you can see, it's a lot darker, and the reason for that is it's all done and over. The film Shank, we've seen it, haven't we, Raya? We have. We've got the golden ticket. It is definitely one to watch. I think it's a five star. I think a five star. Do you agree? I would say four and a half, but four and a half star. What I'll say is there's one actor for you to watch out for in the future, Kadar. Oh. Oh. If only he wasn't 15. Oh. That's a whole other story, but yeah, check him out. Definitely one to watch for the future. Brilliant, brilliant actor. It was a great film, so loads of stuff happening in that film. Loads of different people in there as well. There was dancing, there was fighting, there was sexy scenes. There was even the Munchie Skank. It's a new one coming. Wanna see the Munchie Skank? Wanna see the... Do you wanna do it? No. No. Just me then. <coughs> well, anyway, we caught up with loads of people, didn't we? We did. We caught up with the likes of Scorcher, Bashy, uh, Kojo. Who else? Everyone. Everyone yeah. who is everyone. Everyone who is everyone was here tonight for the premiere, the world premiere of Shank, and it's definitely one you need to check out. For one, 20 back. I'm a survivor. So when the sky falls, I'm ready, fam. It's hard to see it through.